Hey everyone, it's Mark Iron. I know what it's like to have those self-defeating thoughts that just pop up from nowhere. I know what it's like to wake up in the morning and uh, not have the energy, mood up and down all over the place. Seems like a normal human thing, doesn't it? But it's not. The reason a lot of us feel like that is, especially as we age, is because our hormones, our V8 hormones tap out. A few years back now, I stumbled across some research by Professor Sapolsky and the penny dropped. He said that higher than healthy stress hormones or inflammation fosters negative emotion. And uh, sometimes we're up, sometimes we're down, we're just all over the place. And it makes everything harder. Hormones drive everything from fat loss to feelings of well-being, confidence, ambition and drive. It's emotionally draining. You're up and down all over the place. And again, it just seems like a normal human thing, but it's not. What if in about six weeks, your energy and moods were more consistent and you woke up in the morning and you want to attack the day with big ambition? Seems like a stretch, doesn't it? Well, that's what it felt like to me when I was 46, but I reached out to my mentor and uh, everything changed very fast. Within seven days, my energy came back online. Uh, and I've had the great opportunity to work with my mentor, Dr. Anthony J, who did his PhD on hormones and cholesterol, and he's also a genetic expert. So what I wanna show you in this video is how to wake up each morning with a strong hormonal foundation. So you've got testosterone on your side, you've got DHEA on your side, and those self-defeating thoughts, they're largely gone. And when they're there, you laugh at them because the thoughts we think are the things that damage us. It's not other people. When you've got big, enthusiastic energy for the day, ambition, you feel good. And when you feel good, you're a good human and you take off in life. You know, people who know what they want in life, the universe clears a path. And the very foundation is to wake up every single morning with strong hormones. And this isn't difficult. Hardworking PhD research scientists like my mentor, Dr. Anthony J, have shown us how to do this. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do this in 24 hours with simple steps. And there's only three things that stop us from producing a strong hormonal foundation. So without further ado, let's hit it. So there's only three things that stops your body from producing a strong hormonal foundation every single day. And as my coach said to me in late 2016, he said, Mark, if you're having any more than a couple of off days a month, you're doing something wrong. And I was kind of like, yeah, what, really? But at the time, I was, my mood was up and down, my energy was all over the place. And uh, I, he knew what he was talking about. And when I actioned it in uh, 2018, in January, he was right. My energy came back fast. And my client, Corey, the same thing happened for him within seven days, energy back online. Mine was seven days, energy back online. So there's only three things that stop your body from producing a strong hormonal foundation. But you've got to have one more piece to the puzzle, a strong hormonal response. So what? why do you need both? So remember there's only one, two, three things that's gonna stop your body from producing a strong hormonal response. And I call this the geyser. Scientists call this the growth index for stress response. Okay, so how do you create a strong hormonal foundation 24-7? Well, there's actually two hormonal foundations you want to create. One is a strong hormonal foundation. And the second one, importantly, do you want to sleep? Because if you do, you need a calm hormonal foundation. Three, four, five in the afternoon, you want to be training your central nervous system to achieve a calm hormonal foundation. And you can do this. This isn't difficult. Now, my, my mentor, Dr. Anthony J, who did his PhD on sex hormones and cholesterol, and Dr. Anthony is also a genetic expert and he's helped me 
mimic elite genetics because my genetics are kind of shit. So back in 2016, when I learned about the growth index for a stress response, and there should be more information below about that, but I'll quickly speak to it here. I couldn't do it. I failed miserably and I thought it was me. It seemed like you had to be young to produce a strong hormonal foundation to me. And it seemed like you needed elite genetics to produce a strong hormonal foundation. None of that is true. In 2018, I came back and lumped in seven days. And after six months, I got off testosterone replacement therapy. So you can do this. My client, Corey, same deal. And I've got a client, Brian, who was 52, same, same deal. So you can do this. Of course you can do this. Now, a quick word on our friend testosterone. So one, two. Now, when I spoke to Dr. Anthony, when he did his research, he found out something quite extraordinary. Two-fold drop in testosterone since the 1940s, right? So someone my age back in the 40s had an average testosterone of about 800 nanograms per deciliter. Guess what it is today? 350 to 400. So it's even worse than a two-fold drop. Now, if you go to a, an endocrinologist or a classically trained doctor, they're going, that's cool, that's fine, but it's not fine. I think it's important to show you that you've got a lot of power to increase your testosterone twofold. This isn't difficult to do. I've done it. I felt my clients do this. You can do this. I've got an excerpt from a podcast I recently did a few days ago with my good friend, Dr. Ken Berry, board certified MD. And he speaks to testosterone and also cholesterol. So just check this out. Yeah. And there's actually, there's a subset of the population in the low carb sphere who believe that the government understands everything you and I just said about cholesterol and that they actually like it for, for men and women to have a very low testosterone level yeah. because when your T's low, <laughs> you tend to just roll over and take it. Don't you? That's, that's it. You, could you imagine trying to govern a population that had optimized testosterone levels and you were trying to in some way force them to do something they didn't want to do or force them to do something that was just wrong. Yeah. Uh, that would not go well for you if you were the government. No. When you get a taste of what real energy feels like and, and you know, the V8 inside you is raw on the testosterone and all the hormones are popping. You don't want to go back. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you'd probably be aware of this, but men's testosterone, Dr. Anthony wrote about this in his book, Easter Generation, have dropped twofold since 1940. So my grandfather enjoyed 800 nanograms per deciliter, you know, confidence and optimism, plenty of energy, stayed lean with eff effortlessly. But today, the Unfortunately, behind the smoke screen, these well-meaning doctors are saying, no, 350 three is okay. Yeah. 350, now in the okay. U.S., in the U.S. now, anything above 250, some really? reference labs are calling a normal testosterone. Really, 250. So apathetic, uh, struggle with fat loss. So you've got more low-level anxiety. So you don't want to attack today. You just want to stay at home and just forget about all your troubles. Instead of taking the life on, I mean, it's such an important, hard, heavy lifting hormone. Yeah, absolutely. So I, I think that, um, you know, these estrogen like chemicals play into it, but I also think that um, these statin drugs are lowering it to a degree where that's playing into it as, as well. Do you think that's right or? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And so the, the classic stance of someone with low testosterone is when something happens is, oh, woe is me. We can't do anything about this. Yeah. Someone with a, with a good, healthy level of testosterone says, ooh, I'm glad this happened. What can we yeah. do about this? Let's, Let's attack it. Exactly. And that's, so. that's exactly the difference between low T and, and normal optimized T and taking anything that lowers your cholesterol or eating a diet trying to lower your cholesterol. Mm -hmm. You are putting yourself back in that first category of saying, oh, woe is me. There's nothing I can do about this. It's out of my hands. That's quite revealing and... You know, you should take this seriously, even though Ken and I were having a bit of a joke there. It is a big issue and it's not your fault. This has been happening for the longest time. 
and a large reason for that is inflammation from Western slave food, as you can see there on screen. But there's lots of other factors playing into it. And if you want any more information about how you can double your testosterone, reach out to me and I'm more than happy to give you a hand. It's your God-given right to make those high levels. Well, they're not even high, they're average for back in the 40s. I mean, come on, this is what's going on. But um, to really emphasize and drive home why, especially for a dude, having your testosterone up there is because you want to build a legacy for your family, right? You know, that's my whole MO in life. For me, I want my, my amazing wife, Michelle, to know in her heart of hearts that, you know, I'm the man. I'm the go-getter. I'm going to take life on. I'm going to build a legacy for my family. And I want my four amazing kids to know that their dad is kicking ass. And I want to lead by example. I want to show them that they can go after what's theirs in the universe. They can go after their dream and kick ass. Now, I remember Denzel Washington, Washington speaking to this. He spoke to a whole bunch of grads at school. And he said, I, I just don't understand why you need a backup plan. You fail forward, go after your dream. And you just keep at it and persist. And the way you do that with ease and do it easily is to create a strong hormonal foundation because one of these important hormones, testosterone, let's have a look at the properties. Professor Sapolsky spoke to this in his book and Professor Sapolsky is a neurobiologist. He's a professor at Stanford. He's been researching hormones and stress physiology for the longest time and this is what he said. Testosterone significantly decreases feelings of anxiety and fear. And at the same time, it increases feelings of confidence and optimism. Right, So this is the way we feel. You, you don't get a book and read about being confident. That doesn't work. I tried that for the longest time. It's all about hormones. Hormones drive everything from fat loss to energy to how you feel. Feelings of well-being, feelings of confidence, and lowering those self-defeating thoughts. Because stress hormones foster negative emotion. And testosterone also helps you stay lean and strong all year round. So it does a lot of heavy lifting. All right. So it's all about this thing called the geyser, the growth index for a stress response. Now, if you've read Kelly McGonigal's book, you'd know about this. You can actually watch her, her um, TED Talk on YouTube and through the things that she spoke to is that it predicts superior military performance so high elite forces not just the elite forces but CEOs entrepreneurs executives they're after this because it is that that much of an unfair advantage now it predicts superior military performance so what that means for you and I is we're going to kick ass physically. We're going to have the energy to move into the day, to go to the gym, to keep up with our kids, to be that person with big, enthusiastic energy. So the second thing that Kelly spoke to was that it predicts superior problem solving. So, you know, if you've got big ambition, you want to be an entrepreneur and a highly successful entrepreneur, you have to have problem solving abilities high thinking, critical thinking, and that's what the growth index does. It predicts this. They've done studies on this. It is just amazing to think that very shortly I'm going to show you how to do this in a 24-hour period. So every single day you've set yourself up. And the third thing that it does is predict superior academic success. So anyway, enough of that. So what is the growth index for stress response? Hormones, right? Hormones drive everything. And what is it? DHEA to cortisol. Now, cortisol is nothing wrong with him. He's a great dude. He's very helpful. It's just that DHEA is underproduced. So for most people, DHEA is lower than cortisol, and that's why we feel like shit. That's why our mood's up and down all over the place. But people who get this right have more DHEA than cortisol. So how do you do that? 
How do you do that? Well, before we talk about that, DHEA is a neural steroid. So just as testosterone, when you go to the gym and lift the weights, and you've got a strong hormonal response foundation paradoxically, you'll get stronger and more muscular from that physical stress. Well, DHEA is a neural steroid, and like testosterone, it helps your brain physically grow stronger from stress. So that challenge, you do it effortlessly. And remember, you've got testosterone on your side, so it's lowering feelings of anxiety and fear, increasing confidence. And most importantly, you're automatically rewiring your brain in the direction of confidence and optimism and lowering the feelings of worrying about what other people think. Those self-defeating thoughts, they're very few and far between. And when they are there, they're kind of laughable. You get over them very quickly. It's, it's not even a problem. So this is where it gets really exciting. Really exciting because both of these important hormones have the same precursor, right? The same thing. It's called ACTH and it's released in a pulsatile manner 40 times a day. So you've got opportunity and there's four things that will produce more DHEA than cortisol, four things. But you have to remove these clamps over here, all right? This is gonna screw you up if you don't, don't fix this and it's really easy to fix. So who do you want to win? These 40 pulses a day, DHEA or cortisol? Well, of course, we want cortisol to win. So let's have a look at a 24-hour period. 24 hours. So it goes like this, right? So we've got um, 6 a.m. here, 6 p.m. here, and 6 a.m. here. And what we want when we wake up in the morning, every single morning, is a strong hormonal foundation because everything becomes easy. You've got energy, fat loss is easy, confidence, optimism, you're going to kick ass. Now, after that, what you want is a calm hormonal foundation because you've got to sleep, right? And if you've got a calm hormonal foundation, this isn't difficult to do either. You're going to get into sleep. And then when you wake up in the morning again, you're going to have a strong hormonal foundation. So this is ideal. So how do we do this? Well, we have to understand what cortisol, when he likes to come out and play, there's only two times that he likes to come out and play. So in the morning, for a couple of hours, he's out hot, ready to go. He's, he's firing. And some people, especially for me, that you can get a low level anxiety because cortisol is really hot, depending on your unique genetics. Because I'm a stress hyper responder, that happens to me, but I actually don't feel anxiety anymore. I've conditioned my mind to make it feel something else. And this isn't difficult to do. So cortisol is gonna come out, he's gonna, he's gonna peter off around about here, okay? The next time he comes out, is when you crush it at the gym or you do physical exercise. That's the only other time you should come out. All right, two times in the morning and exercise, that's it. If you're stimulating cortisol beyond that, you're gonna knock out DHEA. So DHEA over here, well, that's a bit too thin, isn't it? DHEA is, again, the pulsatile fashion. It's gonna be overproduced, right? You're gonna produce way too much DHEA. So what does the body do? Waste it? The body doesn't waste it. It attaches a sulfur to it, so this puts it into a bank, right? It's putting it into a bank that you can tap into. So what, what can you do with this bank? Well, clearly we can produce more DHEA, but how? I'll show you how shortly. But DHEA can be further worked on and turned into, yes, testosterone. So do you see the potential power that you've got here when you get this right? So you've got 40 opportunities. What do you want to be producing? DHEA or cortisol? It's a really simple question, isn't it? So what are these four things? These four things. So the first thing is mindset. 
Professor Sapolsky, very obscure research, not really well known. It's called the winner's effect. So just one simple example. You're sitting down playing chess and you lose. What do most people hit? Most people hit the cortisol, right? But when you tweak your mindset just a little bit, you can produce DHEA in testosterone. You've got to lose a few battles to win the war. You've got to be okay with losing. That's a simple insight to that mindset. Now, the second thing here is a challenge. So when most people feel challenged, they go into a bit of, you know, a bit of agitation. So they're overproducing cortisol. But you're thinking to yourself, well, Mark, you know, that's so hard. But it's not. When you get this right, DHEA pushes back on cortisol. Testosterone pushes back on stress and cortisol. Lowers feelings of anxiety and fear. Pushes up feelings of confidence and optimism. You operate in a whole new level. And every single day that you do this, you get a little bit stronger. And with a few mindset tweaks, you just automatically rewire your brain in that direction. Are you feeling that? This is where you go. And the next thing that you can do is a physical challenge. So you go to the gym and you hit it just right. You don't overdo it. See, a lot of people, they'll have a 40-minute session, they'll be just going through the motion. So they're going to be producing a lot of cortisol, all right? A lot of cortisol. Now, there's specific things you can do in the gym to produce a little bit of cortisol, but then DHEA and testosterone. A little bit of cortisol, then DHEA and testosterone. So you're producing a very strong hormonal response from that foundation to stress, physical stress. But you can also do this to mental stress. And that's the power of the geyser, the growth index for stress response. Now, breath work. Holy shit, right? Andrew Huberman, professor of neuroscience at Stanford. Breath work. You can produce a strong hormonal response and tap into DHEA and testosterone. So that's thing number one about this breath work. Thing number two is that they, Professor Huberman said, they got two groups of people and they did this breath work and get this, they gave them the coli, right? So you're gonna have the runs, you're gonna vomit, you're gonna have fever, you're gonna feel like shit, literally. But, you know, terrible picture, but that's, that's what the study was doing. So the people who didn't do the breath work, that's what happened. The people who did do the breath work, this is what happened. This breathing upregulates T killer cells massively increases T killer cells in your body. And your body takes that E. coli, that bacteria, and takes it out. So they had asymptomatic symptoms. So basically nothing. Holy shit, breath work. Five minutes of breath work. So let's just keep going here. Now, the calm hormonal response. So you want to back the system off. You, you, you just can't stay up there performing at that level. You've got to calm the system down and allow that system to recover, to build back up. So that's when you go into a calm hormonal foundation. And scientists call this the here and now hormones. Serotonin, oxytocin, vasopressin, opioids, endocannabinoids, things like that. So when you know how to tap into that system, you can power up the calm hormonal foundation. So when you do that successfully, around about here, something takes over, another hormone. So you've got tryptophan, it's converted into melatonin, sorry, serotonin, and serotonin is 5-HD, and then it's converted into melatonin. So melatonin, well known for sleep. So around about six o'clock, You've got the calm hormonal foundation going, melatonin takes over, and you feel tired. But how do you know you're tired in the right way? Well, if you're tired and reaching for junk food, and you're tired in a pissy mood, you're tired and irritable, you're stressed, full of stress hormones. You've got hardly any testosterone or DHEA, or you've got hardly any serotonin to be converted into melatonin. You've got hardly any of the calm hormonal foundation. So how do you know if you've done it right? Because you're contented, you're happy, but you're tired and you go to sleep. So what happens when you go to sleep is quite outstanding, especially for a dude. 
when you get into the, what's called slow wave sleep, the bulk of a dude's testosterone, 70 to 80 percent, is made. All right? 70 to 80 percent. And the rest of it's made over here in this system, the ACTH system, DHEA testosterone. So there's five outstanding things that happen when you sleep, you get into deep restorative sleep. So what are these five things? Well, one, hormones. The bulk of your hormones, thyroid, growth hormone, testosterone, all these important players are created. Now the next thing that happens is neuromodulators. So serotonin, you've got acetylcholine, you've got dopamine, all those heavy lifters for focus, higher thinking have been created. Excellent. Now, the third thing that happens is quite outstanding the brain's power cleanse, right? So your brain's got this thing called a power cleanse. And it cleans your brain from oxidative stress, inflammation, tau plaques, beta amyloids, and toxic peptides. Wow, so this is happening in slow wave sleep because you've got a calm hormonal foundation to go into deep restorative sleep. Now the next thing that happens is pretty cool too. Scientists call this long-term potentiation, and that's just a fancy way of saying everything that you learned the previous day is deeply encoded into your brain. So think about that over the course of, say, three months when you're learning something. You're going to learn much faster, and you're going to do it effortlessly. Life just gets easier when you have a strong hormonal foundation. You back that up with a strong hormonal response, the geyser. And the fifth thing that happens is, is really, really good, especially as we age. Trophic support. Now, I learned from Professor Huberman, sorry, Professor Waltman from MIT, and many other research scientists. Now, our brain has evolved to increase in size and IQ as we age. When we have trophic support, one, but two, we fill it, right? We fill it with knowledge and stimulate that growth. So we learn, we take that course, we reach out to that coach, we read that book, we do all those things. That's going to stimulate growth. And when we stimulate that trophic support, another really important growth signal for the brain gets upregulated quite, quite largely. BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor. And this is antidepressant. Right? This is a natural antidepressant. So when you're learning, you get curious. And when you get curious, you find your purpose in life. And then you get hungry for life. And each day is a new adventure and you kick ass. So let's think about this. You can create a strong hormonal foundation every day. You can tap into this DHEA bank. And the, all these four things here are going to allow you to do that. And this is what it's creating for you. The bulk of your testosterone and hormones your brain's resources, uh, your brain's power cleanse, so fresh sparkling, sparkling brain, everything that you're learning is being deeply encoded and you've got trophic supports, your brain's going to increase in size and IQ. So the question becomes, what are these three things here? Well, let's put it in red. You have to know what stimulates cortisol and inflammation because cortisol stimulates inflammation and inflammation stimulates cortisol. The next thing you have to understand is what clamps. So your body's got these clamps on the performance hormone pathway. So you have to know what these clamps are so you can take these clamps off. Your body's ability to create high optimal levels, not average levels, but high optimal levels of these performance hormones. And the third thing you have to know is what wastes. That's right, these hormones are wasted. In one short hour, let's just say you've created a lot of testosterone. In one short hour, the scientists have shown this, and there'll be information below about these studies that I'm, that I'm calling out too, that in one short hour, the bulk of your testosterone and DHEA can plummet. And it's converted into estradiol, E2, the female hormone. So when you know what those three things are, you can set yourself up for success and you get a little bit stronger every single day. Now, I bet you're thinking, what are these three things? Well, as you can see, this video is 23 minutes long now and 
To find out what those other three things are, each of those points is about another 20 to 30 minute video. So if you're an A player, if you want to kick ass in life, there should be more information about where you can go and consume those videos. Because now you can see that you don't need elite genetics and you're not too old. I'm 49. One of my clients called Brian is 52. My youngest client, Corey, 23. They've all got this right. You can get this right. You don't need elite genetics either. My genetics are pretty garbage. I've got a YouTube video on that with my mentor, Dr. Anthony J. So you can go on YouTube and check that out. You can see how crap my genetics are. So if I can get this right and I'm 49, and the clients that I've helped can get this right, you can get this right. It's your, it's your right to walk around lean, feel healthy, and have your brain increase in size and IQ as your age. Don't be denied anymore. You can get this right. If you've got any questions, reach out to me. I'm more than happy to help. And if you want to have a conversation with me about how to fast track this, love to, love to have that conversation with you. So there it is. I hope you found this helpful.